Okay, well, today I want to talk about the widening scandal regarding leaked text messages from the Wichita police officers. Now, what is most disturbing here now is to find that at least one member of the Wichita Police Department and one member of the Sheriff's Department are involved in terrorist organizations better known as the militia. Now, I know well that members of terrorist organizations, members of hate groups, and ex-military men are infiltrating law enforcement departments all across the country. I have talked about this with the Wichita police chief, the ex-police chief, Ramsey, the uh, Wichita city manager, and the sheriff's sheriff, Mr. Easter. We talked about this. But I think probably I'd be correct in saying that none of us expected this to be happening in our local law enforcement departments. But it's here. And it's more disturbing that the member that is on the Wichita Police Department is still wearing a badge representing the SWAT and representing the Wichita City Police Department. I'm convinced with well, this revelation that we received on yesterday from the Wichita Eagle alluding to the extended message that we found out about three weeks ago. And this one is even worse because it's vile. It has sexual innuendos and other racist messages. Now, we have to do something about this. Uh, I, there's no question in my mind that heads should roll in the Wichita Police Department. Now, I know we have a new interim chief who was not the chief at the time of these incidents, but I think it is up on him now to take some immediate action to cleanse the Wichita Police Department of any members of hate, of terrorist organizations, of ex-military people who come with an agenda to these law enforcement officers, departments. Their agenda is to do what they want to do. And people talk about, well, they need more training. And I've often said, no, they don't need more training. Because when, they have, when you have these rogue officers who join your force with an agenda, and that agenda is to do it my way, to hell with what your policies are, to hell with what your training dictates, I'm going to do it my way. Now, these officers in this report yesterday were saying such things as they regret that they don't have more people to shoot more often. What? This is from people that have taken an oath to protect and serve. And shooting and killing oftentimes in it is not one nor protecting. There is no place in the Wichita Police Department for these officers. They should be fired. They should be decertified, not allowed to join another law enforcement department anywhere in this country. They're not suitable. This is not what I call professionalism. These are not professional officers. These are rogue officers. Let's call them for what they are. These are rogue officers who are hell-bent on doing what the hell they want to do and then hide behind the federal statute of qualified immunity. And I want to tell you that we're never going to have any police reform anywhere in this country as long as qualified immunity is on the books in this country. We must enlist the support of our local and national leaders in the Senate and the House of Representatives, D.C. Qualified has got to go. It simply has to go. We simply cannot let officers go out and commit criminal acts and then hide behind qualified immunity and suffer no consequences. And these officers in Wichita 
have suffered no consequences for the shootings, the killings, nor for these racist, sexist, homophobic text messages that we continue to find out about from week to week. Okay? That's my show for today. Have a good weekend.